In the grip of the Canada Arm 2, the SpaceX Dragon is ready to depart the space station, having arrived on March 9, 2020, with over 4,300 pounds of cargo. Today, you're watching the final robotic operation for a SpaceX Dragon, their 20th commercial resupply mission to the space station, and wrapping up the CRS-1 contract. As we mentioned, this being the end of the CRS-1 contract, SpaceX and Dragon will move into the CRS-2 contract next, so this is the last time we'll see this style of Dragon. The next will be uh, similar to the style of the Crew Dragon spacecraft. Those solar array wings that you see will instead be wrapped around the trunk of the spacecraft down toward the bottom. And in the future, it will dock to the International Space Station and release on its own as well. So this will be the last robotic operation for this spacecraft. Additionally, it will no longer splash down in the Pacific Ocean in the future, but instead it will splash down in the Atlantic Ocean, east of Central Florida. The International Space Station is currently flying 262 statute miles over China, and as you can see, it is getting a little bit darker outside. That's because the Space Station and Dragon are about to cross the Terminator line. That's an invisible line, but the difference between day and night, as the Space Station makes an orbit every 90 minutes, seeing about 16 sunrises and sunsets a day. Release commanded. As you heard, the release window is open and the release command has been sent to the Canada Arm. Snares open. Begin monitoring for drift out. Snares on the latching end effector are open, and very shortly we'll see Dragon moving slowly away from the Canada Arm 2. And you can see that slow motion dragon now drifting away. Release of dragon occurring at 8.06 a.m. Eastern Central Time as the International Space Station was flying 260 statute miles east of Vietnam. Station on two, and has exited the way. Houston copies. Proceeding to back away. Copy. Flight controllers here are now moving the Canada Arm 2 away from Dragon as it is now free flying. Dragon now executing its first Station departure burn. On two, Dragon Report commanded. Houston copies. That first departure burn completed successfully. The next will be about 12 seconds long. Backway is complete, and Dragon's departure burn one is complete. Departure burn two in less than one minute. Monitor per step five of 1.602. Copy, step five.
And departure burn two is complete, changing the relative velocity another 20th of a meter per second. Station Houston departure burn two is complete. Departure burn three in approximately seven minutes. Monitor per step six of 1.602. Be for step six. Departure burn three is now in progress. This burn is about 22 seconds long and moving Dragon out of the keep out sphere and approach ellipsoid much faster, another three meters per second being added. Station Houston, departure burn three is complete and Dragon is outside the keep out sphere. Copy all. That was the last time the arm and Dragon will meet that way, so it's fun to watch. Absolutely. I looked it up in the first official uh, CRS-1 Dragon mission was October 2012 in Expedition 33, uh, met by Sonny Yuri and Aki. And uh, so thanks go out to our hardworking partners at SpaceX at the end of this first of many chapters together. Copy and concur. Congratulations to the SpaceX team and the teams all around the world for a successful uh, Dragon mission over the last month and uh, wrapping up Expedition 62. Looking forward to the Soyuz arrival and day. As are we, it'll be nice to get some more folks up there with you.